Hello students, welcome to my channel Concept Tech 2018. I am Dr. Sunanda Manke and this video is a part of the series on online electronics laboratory and in this part we will take lab exercises on diodes. The assignments in the lab include the VI characteristics of silicon and germanium diode, then working of diode as half wave and full wave rectifier, diode used as clipper and clamper and lastly the Zener diode working as voltage regulator. This is the last assignment, assignment 6 that is on Zener diode regulators. The aim of this experiment is observe the output voltage of the regulator circuit and this is the circuit. We have a Zener connected here and it is connected in reverse bias. We will apply DC supply to it and we will observe the DC current also through a meter and we will observe the output voltage on the voltmeter. The input is changed from 0 to 10 volts and we observe the output voltage and current and we will see how this circuit is used as regulator. It gives us constant output voltage even when input supply is changed. Let us do Zener regulator experiment. We are going to use this kit. In this kit, we will use this voltmeter and the ammeter and this Zener we will be using which is a 5.1 volt zener and we will connect the zener through this resistance. The voltmeter will give the reading across the zener and the emitter will give the current reading. Let us do the connection. This supply is connected to this kit through this resistance. Right? The output of the resistance is given to the emitter and then output of the emitter will be given to the Zener. Okay. That is how we will do all the connections. This will be connected to the Zener diode which we discussed. We will be using 5.1 volt Zener here. All the connections you can check here. The voltmeter is connected across the Zener. This is the Zener and ammeter is connected in series with the Zener. Now this is the supply. Now what will happen when we increase the supply voltage? Initially, the circuit will increase the voltage but there will not be any current. After 5.1 volts, the current will start flowing to the circuit. So, this is 3 volts. The voltage is increasing. You can observe the current reading. There is no change in the current. Current is 0. As soon we cross this 5.1 volts, the current will increase as the Zener will break down and the voltage will become constant right now even if we are increasing the voltage up to 10 volts the voltage across the zener is constant to 5.1 volts and current through the zener has increased to a very large value right so now we are reducing the value of the voltage up to 5 volts after 5 let us observe this again the reading, the voltage is increased from 0 up to 5 volts, there is no current. As we increase from 5, you can see sharp rise in the current and the voltage across the zener becomes constant and current increases. When we reduce the current, it will reduce up to 5, five volts and as we go below 5, the current becomes 0 and the voltage follows the input voltage. This is how zener diode works. We have observed in the circuit that Zener diode worked as a Zener regulator and the Zener voltage is 5.1 volts. So, for input voltage less than 5.1 volt, output voltage is same as input voltage and output current is 0. As soon the input voltage crosses 5.1 volts, the Zener breaks down and output voltage becomes constant at 5.1 and output current rises sharply. Thus, this circuit gives constant output voltage and it works as a regulator. Let us do the same experiment on virtual lab. Here we have the circuit which has constant supply but variable load. We will set the DC input value and we will keep it constant to 12 volts. The Zener voltage we are making it 5.1 volts. The series resistance is kept at 460 ohms and the load resistance which we are going to vary will start variation with 266 ohms and we will add the entry in the table. In the table we can observe the Zener voltage, the Zener current 
with respect to variation in the load for the small value of the load that is the first entry the zener voltage is 12 volts which means zener has not started regulating that is it is not in the breakdown region as we increase the load you can observe the zener voltage becomes constant at 5.1 volts whereas the zener current is varying it is increasing right so in the last experiment what we did is we changed the input supply voltage and we observed this regulation of the zener that is termed as line regulation and this where we are changing the load and observing the zener voltage or output voltage this is termed as load regulation right so in both the cases when even when the input is changing or the load is changing zener offers constant output voltage and so it is used as zener regulator now we'll plot the curve and you can see here the zener voltage is constant for variation in the load except for the initial values i hope you have understood how the zener voltage regulator works thank you